Today is Friday, March 20th, 2020, and this is the final installment of CBC Primetime. One story, two points in three minutes. And as I've said earlier, I grew up on a small farm in Western Kentucky, and my mom, she was a old school farm cook. And as a lot of old school farm cooks did, they made sweet tea every meal. And my mom would make this sweet tea and the way she would make it is she would make it and then she would sit at the pitchers on the counter and she would let it sit overnight because it was always better the second day because I guess maybe the sugar had time to cure with the tea or whatever. So one day we were having supper uh, with our family. My mom had the sweet tea that she had made the night before and she poured all that tea for us and we started having our meal. We were sipping the tea and we were thought, I remember thinking something is off with this tea, but I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to hurt my mom's feelings. So we just kept having the meal and everything. But then finally, we were all kind of like, mama, something's up with this tea. And she was like, yeah, I think you're right. Let me pour this out. This isn't, this isn't good. And so when my mom took the pitcher and poured it out in the sink, that's when we realized what was wrong with the tea. Because when she took the pitcher and she poured it out, that's when the dead mouse fell out of the pitcher into the sink. And we realized that overnight, the dead mouse had become one with the tea. And it was a pretty terrible, terrible thing. But let me tell you about the flip side of that same concept. Fast forward to today. Uh, I've now been married for 22 years and I'm married to the woman that I think is the most perfect match for me. Of all the women who have ever roamed the earth, past, present, and future, this woman is the most perfect match for me. She's my best friend and she is my hero. But that does not mean that she doesn't sometimes get on my last ever love and nerve. Because sometimes she does. Because marriage is difficult. In fact, I would say that marriage is the most difficult relationship on planet Earth. And one of the reasons I think that is because I think people approach marriage as two separate individuals coming together and just cohabitating as two individuals. And that's not at all what God meant when he instituted marriage. Because back in Genesis 2, when God instituted marriage, he said uh, the two, or he said the, the man will leave his father and his mother and will cleave to his wife and the two will become one flesh. And then later, Paul reiterates that in Ephesians 5. He says the two will become one flesh. But then he adds, this is a profound mystery when the two become one flesh. And so I think that mar one of the reasons why marriage is in is because Couples don't ever get to that, you know, that profound mystery part. They're still just doing one man, one woman coming together like this. And they're still holding on to this like individualistic version of cohabitating together. But that doesn't work because marriage is the most uh, difficult relationship on planet Earth. But I really believe that when you are intentional to work at it, forgive each other and take the D word off the table then this most difficult relationship can become the most beautiful, wonderful relationship on planet Earth. Not the man looking at the woman and saying, well, if she would just change this, or not the woman looking at the man and saying, well, if he would just change this. No, this is this profound mystery of two people coming together. And so men, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. Women, honor and respect your husbands in a way that is complementary to this profoundly mysterious union. Just like this two things becoming one, this espresso and this milk. Here's the espresso and here's the milk. But when it becomes one, it is a most beautiful thing. Mmm. Beautiful. And point number two, put the lid on the pitcher when you set the tea out overnight. My goodness. This has been CBC Primetime. Three, two, one.